Hello and welcome. I'll be demonstrating how to change the screen on your Lenovo Edge 14 inch 0578-CTO if you're interested in the model number. Of course before we start any type of repair we want to remove our power source or the battery. Just pull it out the way you normally would. Let's get started. Now what you see here our first step would be to open the computer get to our monitor. We're going to take off the little screw covers as you see here in the corners and another one up top I already did the other two then as you see we have four screws shown we're going to undo them just like you would any other screw now you're just going to unscrew the screws in the, hit, in the bezel like so and you do that for all four corners and make sure you keep track of all your screws now we're going to remove the bezel by starting at the top, pulling up, working your way around to the perimeters. It's going to be kind of tight in some spots, but it should come off relatively easy. Don't rush it, take your time. And it just pops off, voila. Now we're going to take off the screws that connect the screen, or the display itself, to the monitor. You do that the same way you did the others. And be careful here, especially. Make sure you're keeping track of all your screws as well. And we'll go ahead and remove the screws on both sides, like so. We're going to remove the screws on the frame here. There should be four of them. And remove them all. I know that these screws are a little bit different than the ones you took out of the assembly. Not the assembly, but the monitor at the hinge. So keep note of that and make sure you know where they're going. So when you finally replace them later on. Next, we're going to take off the connections from the backlight and the board. As you can see, there's a little sticky part down here. Just going to remove that. And then again, around the entire seam. That'll give us the piece to work with when we install the new. Now that you have those removed, the last one to do would be the connection to the board. What we're going to do there is remove the tape, then remove the connector itself. The tape is removed, and as you can see, you just lightly pull out the connector. Next, we're going to take the new screen. Leave the front cover on that it comes in. It'll protect your screen while you're putting it in. When you finish putting it in, before you put the bezel in, then you can take it off. But for right now, just leave it on. The first thing we'll want to connect on the new screen uh -oh, will be our counter that we took out with the tape. Now we'll just reverse that process. Connect it like you disconnected just by plugging it in. It should snap into place. Go on and lay the tape. And now replace the rest of the tape like you had done previously like you have seen previously on the last screen, the screen you're replacing. And if you set it down flat, give it a nice press, forward and back, you should have the same amount of adhesion that you had originally. And now we're just going to reassemble the screens. Screws back in the way they came out. And I always start with the top just because it's easier to reach. We're going to do this for all four screws that we took out. Now that I have all the screws on the side of the chassis, or the frame I should say, we can now put the bezel back on. And start at the bottom, kind of work your way up. It shouldn't be too difficult to use if you have Lenovo. Some of the beauties of having Lenovo is they make it easy to repair for the most part. I want to slap that into place. 
try to be concentric with the way you put it on so that it's evenly spaced. Go up the sides to the top like we, about the opposite of the way we did before. And at this time, you can remove the screen protector. I hate to do it now just so I can minimize all the scratches and stuff that I might incur during other parts of the installation. Snap, snap, snap. Those seem to be good to go. Speaker is lined up. The top is leveled up. And now we're ready to put on the screws. The next thing we want to make sure is that we attach the frame to the LCD itself. And how we're going to do that is just go back to where we took them out in the first place. It'll be your screw on the very bottom, not the one on the outside. The one on the outside goes to the bezel. So you're just going to replace both of these like so. Tighten them down. Make sure you do that on both sides. Now you're ready to put the bezel on. And our last steps will be just to replace the screws we took out from the bezel itself, as you can see, right into here. And then we're going to cover those up with the covers. And now you're done. And our final step, we're just going to replace the covers on the screws. Just go in, just sticky it up. After you finish this, which I'm almost done, you are now finished and successfully, well, let's hope, we'll turn on the monitor here soon to check. You've now successfully installed a new screen. Now, we'll replace the battery by plugging it in. I'm going to give it a test run and see if it's working. Now, finally, you can test it. See if your screen's going to boot up. So you should just see your normal BIOS. All right. Successful screen loading. Good luck, everyone.